what's up everybody welcome to BioWise 3 Raw TV okay pay attention guys I'm gonna start calling myself daddy YouTube dad YouTube pops because dad has to teach you guys something today that no one else is fucking teaching you or paying attention to we're gonna talk about for informational purposes this big natty daddy guy who's a 15 year old kid this has hit my inbox so many fucking times and I kind of ignored it but this video has to be made. Absolutely has to be made. So fucking pay the fuck attention to what's about to go down right now. First of all, 15-year-old kid on gear. Why do you give a fuck? Why do you guys even give a flying shit what this kid is doing? The problem here is not the kid because 15-year-olds do dumb fucking shit. I did dumb fucking shit when I was 15 years old. I was smoking weed. I was fucking drinking. I mean, I was doing stupid shit. The problem here is you dumb motherfuckers who are talking about him. You're turning him into the fucking Kardashian version of a 15-year-old in the fucking bodybuilding world. You're giving him the fucking power that he wants. He wants attention. That's why he put up this fucking Instagram. That's why he's taking steroids to begin with. He wants more attention. It's not to become fucking a better athlete. He's fucking 15. He doesn't know whether he wants to fucking fart, pick his nose, or comb his hair in the morning. But you're giving him the attention. So fucking right away, you're giving him what he wants, and you're part of the problem. What do you give a fuck if he kills himself? What do you give a fuck if he shuts his fucking nuts down for life? If his hair falls off, why do you give a shit? It doesn't fucking affect you. Who the fuck died and made you boss of this kid? This kid's parents are the boss of his kid. And actually, they're fucking partly to blame for this shit, too. And then you go out and attack Boston Lloyd. Now, I know about Boston personally. And, you know, I've actually talked about this in a, um, a forum, I think. I don't remember which one it was. But people were attacking Boston and shit for telling him what to do. And I was like, you know what? First of all. The kid's going to do what the fuck he wants to do. Not that I think it's right. Okay, I think it's absolutely wrong. But the more that you motherfuckers push, the more this 15-year-old kid is going to push back. The more he's going to do. The more he's going to try to prove you wrong. The more attention he's going to want. The more gear he's going to fucking take. And Boston himself is the type of guy who, like, he likes to say fucking, you know what, you guys are wrong. I'm going to prove you wrong, etc. Now, this is one thing I will say about Boston. He is a young kid. And I talk to him personally on a personal level. And I wouldn't say frequently, but we've opened up to each other about some personal issues and stuff like that that we've had. And he's a good kid at heart, but he's young. And I know that at my when I was his age, I was shooting fucking heroin in my arm. There's no fucking way that I would do that now. So later on in life, Boston is going to look at things a lot differently than he does now. He's going to grow. He's going to mature. He's going to look at things differently. Now, backing up to the part about law enforcement. Trust me, they know about this kid. They know about this kid. They know about Boston. They know about the underground labs. And the big thing just came out. The DEA is putting this fucking cyber sweep or whatever the fuck it is together. And they're going to be going after these underground labs and shit. And anybody who's out there fucking talking about how they take this and they take that and they're doing this and doing that. They already know, motherfucker. Trust me. They don't just jump the fucking gun and go get you. Okay? That's not how that works. And how do I know this? Because I used to be involved with all this fucking black market underground shit big time. And I had to go to lawyers, okay? This is what I fucking did when I was younger to find out what happens if I get involved in this, I get caught. How does this work? I also have family and police work. I also was involved with police work. I understand how these fucking things work. They can't just automatically go, this five, this natty daddy, whatever the fuck his name is, they can't just automatically go to his house and get him and arrest his parents. They build a case. Because if for some reason they had some information wrong, and it's just some kid fucking photoshopping pictures and putting them up on the internet, the parents will sue the fuck out of the police and make them look stupid, okay? If for some reason, you know, they looked at Boston Lloyd and they fucking jumped the gun and they go and grab Boston, and it was just a complete facade. It's just made up on the internet. It's a fucking character. He's not even fucking doing anything that he said he did. They're fucked. So they will sit back and they will fucking build a case. Build a solid fucking case to slam dunk that shit home when they fucking go grab these people. And there ain't jack shit that fucking anybody's going to be able to do about it at that point. Because the evidence will be there. And this has happened, like, there was a guy named Reddy Cat who was out in fucking Thailand. He used to make something called paper bollocks. It was a piece of paper, blotter paper, like LSD, that had squares drawn on it. You would actually somehow put the anadrol and dianabol and winstrol and anabar and stuff into the paper. You would just fold the piece of paper, put it in a fucking envelope, and mail it to you. You take the fucking paper, you rip off a square, you put it in your mouth, it dissolves. It's like fucking LSD. They, America fucking built a case years against this fucking guy. Got permission from Thailand to go in and fucking grab this guy, okay? He wasn't even an American citizen and lock him the fuck up. Trust me, I mean, it went on for years. People like, this is the most brilliant thing ever. He'll never get caught. He got caught. Trust me, the shit will fucking hit the fan. And as far as, like, the parents, 
you know, I, I don't know. I don't know this kid's parents. I don't know what the fuck is going on. But I do know this. If it was my kid, there would be no way for me to stop him. Because I know because that's the way I was when I was that age. But should the parents be more involved with this shit? I mean, I mean, let's face facts. If we find out the fact that he's on steroids and he has a Twitter account and shit and Instagram, the parents must know too. But they're the, the like, well, what are we supposed to do? Like, you know what? Here's what I would do if I was the parents. And I'm not a parent, but this is what I would do. I would call the fucking the, the family services. I would have him fucking locked up in one of those fucking reform places for fucking teenagers that are like little prisons. I would do all that shit. I would do whatever the fuck it took to get his ass straightened the fuck out if I couldn't do it. That's just what I would do, but that's not what's happening. But I really think the big part of this problem is I, I'm part of the problem. I'm making a fucking video about him. I'm giving him more fucking attention now. But the bottom line is, cut the shit. If he wants to stick a fucking needle in his ass and kill himself, let him do it. If you want fucking Boston to help him and them all to go fucking jail, let him do it. Just shut the fuck up and let them do what they want to do and go about your own life. If you're natural, you have kids or whatever the case may be, fuck it. Just let them do what they do and just fucking let dogs lie. Bowser Training at gmail.com. Leave comments down below. Here comes Brew finally. But don't fight. www.bowserstrength.com is blogging. So don't make them the Kardashians bicep at work. Ow.